today I am doing a book review on Greenwich Park by Katherine Faulkner. This was published to, well, okay, I don't know if this, this was not published today, but the audiobook version was published today, January 25th. I'm really hoping this comes out on January 25th, but anywho, January 25th, the audio version of this book came out. So I got a free copy from NetGalley to you know, check out the audio version. I really liked it and it was set in London. So the accent was there. And I think that's a really big thing with audiobooks to have the accent it was intended for because sometimes if you're reading things and you don't know the accent or you don't know how things are said or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes audiobooks are just so much more beneficial. And in this case, it really was, at least for me, because I mean, I'm not from London, I'm, I'm from the, the US and it's just, I don't know. I, I know when I read things like this, I tend to just like think of it in the way I talk and then sometimes things don't sound right. You know what I'm saying? I hope that made any sense. Anyways, so before I get into what this book is about, please like and subscribe if we are jiving. Now, I do believe this is a debut novel by Katherine Faulkner. I've never heard of her before. I tried to look her up a little bit. I didn't try really hard, you know, but I do think this is the debut novel. So this is about Helen. Helen and her husband, they seemingly have a very perfect marriage. Finally, after years and years in trying, Helen is able to get pregnant and she's like, you know, she's happy, she's excited, she's growing a life inside of her and she decides to take up one of those prenatal classes thing. You know, I don't know how beneficial those are. Like, have you ever taken one of those classes? Because me, I never took those classes. And then I was terrified that I didn't know what the heck I was doing because I didn't take those classes and I wouldn't know how to deliver my baby. Mm. But anyways, it, it went pretty smoothly. So I don't know if those classes are really worth it. But anyways, so she goes to this prenatal class and then her husband ends up working late for work so he doesn't show. And then she was also going to go with her brother and his wife who was also pregnant about the same area around same time as her. And uh, they ditch her. And they're like, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna be there. We're gonna go to this other fancier prenatal class place so sorry so she's there by herself like what the heck like you know she feels like this weird like loser person who didn't have like her partner or anyone with her in this class and then Rachel comes barging in she's late to the class she's got a big old belly and she's just like a whirlwind of chaos like right off the bat right well Helen is kind of drawn to her and Helen and Rachel develop this weird like friendship this very odd friendship it's like Helen likes her but at the same time she's very like judgy about her like in her head like she thinks of her and like is like kind of judgy you know anyways Rachel sh shows up on her doorstep one day and she looks like she was physically abused and Helen is assuming by a man like maybe the baby's daddy or something like that so Helen is like you can stay with me until you can get back on your feet and figure out what you're doing and as she stays there um things start to happen and secrets are starting to become revealed and you're like what the crap and Rachel you know there's more to her than what we all think so um that's as far as I'm going to go with that review of course lots of things oh and this is like a thriller I've mentioned before thrillers are really hard to talk about because th there's only so much you can say without really like giving it away so um that was the story <laughs> we're also following a couple of other POVs and I gave this book 4.5 stars because, well, here's the thing too with thrillers, sometimes the ending is just so freaking good and that's what really makes me decide what to rate the story is like that ending, that end feeling and not necessarily the overall book. And I've mentioned before, I'm very much like a moody reader and a moody, what I say reader? And, and a moody ra raider, a raider, I'm a moody, reader and a moody raider reader and raider <laughs> am i saying the same word anyways i'm moody okay is what i'm trying to say so sometimes i might give something like five stars and then i'll look at it down the road and be like what the hell is like that's like a two star like you know what i mean it's really just based off of my mood so usually if something happens in the end of the book that's just is like the best thing ever i'm gonna read it higher than you know, no matter what. So that's why I gave it a 4.5 star because I was very conscious of the fact that I wanted to give it such a high rating because I loved the ending. But there's a part in the beginning that did not jive with me at all. And that is the fact that 
Helen is like not even 20 weeks pregnant. 20 week pregnant is like the halfway mark. And things, <sighs> there was not any research done on where the baby is and what part of your pregnancy. So she was talking about things with the belly and the baby that isn't like the baby's the size of a bean and she's talking as if the baby was like fully formed but the time like there's no way at like I don't know 12 weeks that the baby's like fully formed and like you know it was weird but anyways there's a part where Rachel grabs her belly and grabs grabs her belly in a way where she's like can put her fingers around the baby's neck. One, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. If you're, even if you're like first, when you first find out you're pregnant, first off, that baby is so like safe that you're not gonna poke it and touch the littleness that is a newborn or like when it first develops or whatever, fertilize the egg. And then also though, even if the baby is full form, yes, you might feel the head, but your belly is so rock hard when you are ha when you have a baby in there, there's no way you're gonna get your freaking hands in there and grip the baby's neck. Like, no, no, you, you can't do that. And there's this very weird scene where Rachel is like, touching Helen's stomach and basically like grabbing her baby by the neck and the belly. So I took a half star off. But literally that's because I like if I don't if I don't even think about the ending this book is like 3 stars because that it's very wrong. Like it's very wrong and like I feel like it, there's not a lot of research you had to do to find out how a baby develops in the belly and like what stages are which. Maybe the author never had a baby, like naturally to know those things, but it's just very, they're very odd things and it's not possible, okay? But anyways, I feel like I'm getting a little ranty here. Um, but pros, I did love the ending, okay? Because <laughs> there's such a, there's like this rotten character, okay? And you don't really know she's a rotten character until the end and then you finally get her viewpoint, which you're kind of getting it throughout the story. There's three um, point of views are following in the story. So once we get hers, you just feel, you just see how she's like such a shitty person. And then it's like justice is served. Like at the very end, it's like, oh yes, justice is served. It's just like, oh, it's like a, like a, just like the perfect, just like a perfect like punch. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but it was so perfect. I loved that ending so much it was just so satisfying that's what I'm trying to say it's just such a satisfying ending I loved it. loved it loved it it was great anyways it was like one of the I think this was like the very last book I read um, in 2021 and it was really good I really enjoyed it it was a good read except for that weird thing about like the pregnancy and the research that was not done but yes the ending though was just so perfect I couldn't not give it a high rating you know what I'm saying Anyways, have you heard of this book? Do you want to pick it up now? Again, the audio was really great. Like the audio version, I really, really appreciated it. Uh, so let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye book peeps.